These are two prototypes that we're building for the laser tag augmented reality system. This version here uh, is focusing on modifying an existing stock. This is one from a long strike from the Nerf line into the uh, into the actual parts here. This top portion here is the uh, just the iron sights uh, for the version without the cradle attached to it. So obviously this slides off a little bit easier. We need to address that issue. But it, um, it's also been it's been cut and integrated into this part as well as two holes uh, cut into the actual handle there. Um, it's nice and sturdy though, um, as long as this doesn't move around and it's got support down here. It's especially handy for just stabilizing your shots. It's, it's kind of nice to have a stock on a blaster like this, um, especially given the accuracy with the nature of laser tag. And then there is this other version. The blaster, other than the paint job, is still stock, but we are actually making modified parts for it, utilizing uh, SketchUp software that is um, essentially able to, we're able to 3D design these parts and then print them out in a nylon-based plastic. This piece would replace this orange one on the front where the lenses are. This would be designed, uh, be especially helpful for making custom lens arrangements and barrel extensions and things like that that would not only alter the blaster's performance but also alter its appearance as well without actually having to mess with the shell or any of the internal components. The other piece here, um, much more extensive than the other one, but this is actually a piece that would replace um, this white piece up here actually. Here's one. Um, and this attaches to the point up here. Oh, it's still in two pieces, so it's a little bit tricky. There we are. Now it's got this raised box in the back. This box portion is actually an N-Strike stock adapter. This is a stock from a uh, Retaliator N-Strike Elite. And uh, this attaches onto the back there, so we are able to connect N-Strike stock extensions to the laser tag augmented reality blaster. So uh, this one's also in prototype and there's also points here we can actually pull back and release the clip that locks this into place unlike the uh, the iOS creator where it's stuck on there and you have to get in there with a set of pliers and all that kind of fun stuff. So those are two uh, those are two prototypes that we are working on for making uh, enhancements to laser tag blasters.